What's happening? Psychos, man. You know how that shit go. It's the same old hate. Just different devils. Or oh, what do you call it? Today is um, Tuesday, October 5th, 2021. Feel me? Got my vanilla. I don't know how this shit gonna taste. It usually tastes good, but you know. You know how that shit go, man. People always have something specially reserved for me. You see, when your words are that powerful, they gotta block out the noise. You feel me? They have to. Cause this shit is getting to a point where people are actually attracted to me by my knowledge alone. They just trying to make me nice. It's like, why are you trying to make this man nice? He's like, let him be great. You feel me? People are just attracted to me by my knowledge alone. It's like, yo, what this man is saying, he's like, yeah, he got it. You feel me? Why are you trying so hard? It's funny how these niggas think. They attack you, then they be like, he's not nice enough. Huh? But y'all the one that's stalking him. How do you... The things that they've done, women, children, attack. You can you are not in a position to complain about you being a victim. And this is not even a subject I wanted to go into. But I'm gonna address it real fast. I don't know, I don't like the brown stuff on the outside of it. <laughs> Hold on, man, let's go right in. Just speak your mind, you feel me? I play with me. You know what I mean? Mmm, look at him. This is good. <laughs> I'm like a kid when it comes to this sweets. <laughs> I can't help it. Oh, look at my bus. My bus just got here. I actually walk. I don't wait for the bus anymore. I be walking, you feel me? When people get mad at me for, like who get mad at somebody else for walking? When did walking become bad? It's crazy how that shit works sometimes. When I'm walking, they tell me, get on the bus. That when I'm on a the bus, they tell me to get a car. Then when I'm in an the Uber, they they looking at me and they telling me to walk. It's never enough for these people. They'll not be happy. They're never happy. Never. So I don't even pay attention to them no more. I just I do what I want to do. If I want to be in an Uber today, I'm in an Uber today. They could talk about money this and money that. Then when you when you on something, they be like, they just jealous, man. They always they gonna compete with you at every turn of the way. Anybody that pays that much attention to somebody else is jealous of that person. The only time we pay attention to somebody apart from ourselves is when we want to learn something from that person. And that's just the truth. You feel me? If I'm, if I'm subscribed to anything, that means that I need help from that subscription. A reason why a doctor will subscribe you with a medicine is for the medicine to help you in some form of capacity without really deterring you. Now, why are they subscribed to me? Am I helping them out or are they really just taking from me? You feel me? What is it? Why is it that you pay so much attention to me? What is it about me that you want that you 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 find it so hard within yourself? And they can't deny that. The reason why they can't deny that because they brag about things that happened yesterday and today or last week or last year or a few months ago. You bragging about things, then that means that you've been around for that long. It's like okay. What is it about this person that you subscribe to? They subscribe to me. You feel me? What service am I providing that you find it so intriguing that you have to be subscribed to me? You feel me? Anybody that watch anybody for that long and they're not benefiting for that person in some form of capacity, that person is a hater. That's all they are. They just hating. They just hating. That's all. 
they can't help themselves. They got to hate. This is not even the topic I wanted to get into. This is when you know they be lying. Because I'm not even... Look, man. How can I be scared of somebody that I'm not even concerned about? It's not like I'm out there watching them. I'm not in your walls watching you. Creeping. I'm not even subscribed to you. I'm not even following you. I'm not, I'm not even paying attention to you. I don't even know who you are in the first place. So how is it that I'm scared of, scared of who? I don't even talk about them. The only time they come up is when they mention my name. Then I have to, then I have to speak on it. But apart from that, I don't speak to these people. You feel me? So who are they? Like, come on, man. Talking about the, come on, man. Stop playing, man. These people are competing with me on every level. Every level. Like, I'm not even competing with them. Every level, bro. All I'm doing is just being myself. And I irritate people. Just me being myself is irritation to some people. So they subscribe to me to see what they can find about me to use it against me. Whenever you see, when you see somebody looking for a flaw, they, they just watching me to see a mistake so they can point out. 99% of the time I can say something great. And at that 1% when I say something that they can use, they will use it. Whether it's a word or a sentence on action, they will use it. This is the reason why you cannot win with these people. It's not that you're giving up. No. You can't win with them because they are looking for faults about you. So there's no need for you to compete with them. That's why Christ didn't even compete with the devil when the devil uh, when the devil came to him. When the devil came to him, you don't compete with such people because they're unreasonable when it comes to competing. Unreasonable. They will cheat. They will drug you. They will do anything just to have an advantage over you. They will degrade you to the lowest point. We're going to talk about the degrading to the lowest point when these white people pass by. Or two white men and a Spanish guy. What else is new? Oh yeah, let me check my bag. <laughs> you try to steal my bag. Taking away from the message. Hold on. I have 30 minutes with y'all. We're going to get into a lot of topic. I don't know what to call this. Feel me? They degrade you to the lowest point of capacity. Always. They're always trying to find something to fight against you about. It's like there's there's no there's nothing to fight me against. Like I haven't done nothing in a matter where it to fight me. Come on, man. That boy walks so like I stay so much away from trouble, it's like it's very hard to find fault on me. The only way they can find fault on me is to create a scenario or an environment where they can make me, where they can make me get into trouble in some form of capacity. And if it's a little trouble, they will enhance it and try to make it big, a big deal. You feel me? Just so they can look good. The only way they can look good is when I'm in the picture. That's all. My name has to be attached to something so they can be like, I'm the one that did this to this person. Well, I was the one who got rid of him. And then, yeah, all that kind of shit, like. It's like how you compete with somebody that you hate that much. Like, come on, man. It's obvious that you need me to be great. They don't have no fault on me. Everything that they do, every, every new problem that has been created is new. They don't have nothing to offer. Niggas walking around like I'm supposed to get handcuffs and everything. I'm like, if I'm supposed to get handcuffs, then whatever problem has occurred, has to be a new problem because the FBI would have arrested me at the airport when I got I got to California. Facts. They would have been arrested me. 
You feel me? So anything that's new, any it has to be a new problem. Plus, when I apply for this job, they do background checks. So it's like, come on, man. Every job that I applied for when I came here, it was it was a background check. So it's like every like whatever they complain about is a new problem. It's something they making up. They make up everything. I make sure that man, they be making shit up, man. These people want to fight me at every turn. They just jealous, man. They jealous. They some jealous people. That's why they always attack people who even have a conversation with me. If it's a girl that have a con, they will attack that girl. If it's a baby that smile and laugh at me, they will attack that baby. You feel me? If it's a man that had a small conversation with me, we had a great conversation, we laughing back and forth, they get jealous and attack that man too. So how is it that you calling other people to look at me, but yet you don't want them to look at your actions? Come on, man. These niggas don't even make sense. They incriminating themselves by even calling attention to me because every time they look at me, they see them attacking me. So it's like, all right, disregard that, disregard that. Oh, we can't look at that then. It's like the whole tape is them attacking me in some form of capacity or organizing people against me. And they can't even find fault on me. Though they find something little and they just be like, well, we can't, we can't really look at that, Jeff. We had to look at this part right here. Now we can't look at the beginning of the tape. I'm like, then why are we even here? You feel me? If you can't be honest with the process, don't even talk to me. <laughs> Fuck, nigga. You feel me? Like, like these niggas is full of shit, man. Like I said, this wasn't even the topic. They've done so much dirt to me. They threw so much dirt on me that I'm so clean that I made dirt look good. They done the most anest thing to me. I'm telling you, I'm talking about the most dirtiest thing in the world that you can think of. They done it. But yet, I am so pure in the things that I do that I make those things look okay. To anybody else, it would be filthy. You'd be like, ew, that was nasty. Look at what they did. Da, da, da. But to me, when, it done, when it's done to me, I still look good. I still look pure. I still look clean to the point where it's not enough what they've done that they got to do something else. And do something else. And do something else. And do something. It's like, come on, man. Y'all niggas been lost. They make a lie. Lie on top of lie on top of lie. And then they can never rest easy. But they always looking for the next thing up. You feel me? You don't see me begging nobody. You nigga, know, I built my own way. I made my own way happen. Well, I ain't even worried about this nigga. Let's talk about... The series from yesterday <laughs> that was just the introduction i love these things right here. french vanilla is it advertising i ain't even getting paid for this i already get paid for this For real, these niggas is crazy. These are the same niggas that was steal from you. Literally been stealing from me. You feel me? Then turn around and call you a thief. I'm like, nigga, I never stole from you. There's nothing in life that you have that I want. Even if it's good for me, I don't want it from you. I take it from somebody else. You feel me? Because I despise niggas like that. I just can't stand people like that. I can't. It's so fake. They are so, so fake, man. Anyway, I know yesterday we spoke about women. It wasn't about women empowerment. I just wanted to make it, um, I just wanted to, um, highlight the fact that women are more powerful than men you feel me in general because we the, most of the things that we do is heavily relied upon a woman you feel me we do everything that we do if a woman is our um if a, a woman is the house that we dwell in then most of us most of us if, if you have a house then most of the stuff that you use your equipment the things that you need to cultivate a land will be dwell upon that house itself. So a woman holds all those things, you feel me? So she's she has a little more power than we think that she do. You feel me? That's so that's the thing that I was trying to point out. But I also said that of course at birth rate, 
the more more boys die at birth rate than women than than girls do. This in turn this itself is one of the argument I'm using that a girl is born stronger than a boy. As men grow older, guess what happened? They um they get testosterone. You feel me? Testosterone's kicking and everything else like that. It's like God always give us something to make us stronger as life goes on because we are naturally the weaker being so with the testosterone this testosterone put us at a place where we gain more muscles our body mass tend to stand a little wider just to withstand the battle itself withstand life itself because the woman needs us to basically work around the house itself you feel me if you ha it doesn't matter how much that's what they call it mother nature it doesn't matter how much mother nature you have you need somebody to work the ground and everything else like that and, and you know comb the soil and everything else and take care of the seeds and everything else like that so we are made to work the land itself so we naturally are made to work for the hold on let it back yeah you doing Oh, no, no, uh, I work here. Oh, I got... I'm just uh, a few... Okay, I didn't introduce that. Uh, nine. It's almost nine, right? Yeah, it's almost nine. It's about 38 minutes to nine. Oh, okay. I got well, it. if I got it right, 28 minutes to nine. Okay, yeah, yeah, definitely. So, men are main... It's actually the other way around. Men are made to cultivate the land, and the woman is the land herself. She is Mother Nature. Even we call them Mother Africa. It's not Father Africa. Even when they build a ship, they say her. You feel me? They use the word. Is a woman is the she's the ship that moves civilization forward. She's the ship that carries civilization forward. I already did all that. This is not about woman empowerment in any form or shape, but. I just wanted to prove to the evidence that they are much stronger and they are much more um, important. Let it pass. They are much stronger and they are much more important than we give them credit for. Now, let's get back. Let, I want to uh, praise the men too. You feel me? Yes, we are made strong later on in life to, you know what I mean, to work the land and, you know, to keep the house that we dwell in because the woman a woman has a womb a womb is an environment in itself a womb is an environment that feeds a baby a womb is an environment that holds a sperm a womb is an environment that creates the human body that we know of it gives it the flesh the bones and everything else like that so the womb itself is an environment the womb is a representation of earth itself where it holds environment where it feeds the baby earth itself that's what earth does earth feed us and it sustains us until we ready to you know I me mean? lash out if you want to go into space if you can you know build you take 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 some of these metal and shit and just go out to space and shit but apart from that we attach to our mother which is the womb when we come out the womb we now we in the earth itself we constantly it's something into something you feel me <laughs> it is what it is it's like you we attach in so many ways but i also want to but that's just a woman that's how superior she is she's a representation hold on A woman is a rep is she's half of the representation but she makes most of the representation of what God will be like you feel me if you take a look at the universe we live we live we, we, we in the universe and within the universe we live in a galaxy called a milky galaxy and within the galaxy itself we are within the milky galaxy itself we on earth on, on earth itself we we are the people that's on land itself and within the earth itself, there is a coal which is as hot as the surface of the sun itself. So there's always something within something within something that has a function that functions within it. You feel me? And that's what the woman represents. Now, what does the man represent in this culture? You feel me? The man represents... 
the possibility of everything that's impossible. Every man that you see walking around is a walking miracle. You feel me? Let me pass. God damn, these niggas is haters. Remember, more boys die at birth than girls. Which means some boys are not even strong enough to survive the journey to even be birthed. Because they, I mean, scientifically proven. You feel me? Then after, even when we born recently, if it wasn't for the way um, we have kept the world so civilized, we would have, most men, we, we would have been fighting each other, killing off each other and everything else like that. So man, most men died on a very high rate. So every man that you see walking around, regardless of how fucked up he is, is a walking miracle. Cause it's like you have survived, you've already won the battle before the battle even begin. You feel me? You've already went through the trials and tribulations and everything else like that. You are the soldiers. You are the frontiers. You have been make equipped. It's like you are the US Army for the United States of America. You feel me? You are the what is it? You you are like the Jupiter to Earth itself. You feel me? You like the you you've been made equipped to protect. You feel me? That's your that's your function. Let it pass. Come on, let me check them out. You have been made equipped to provide, protect, and serve the thing that you dwell upon the most, the house that you dwell upon, the, the thing that you came out of, you feel me? Even in the house itself, a man is made to provide and protect the house. If there's a problem, they'll call the man to protect the house because that's his function. That is his job. That's why it's in his very, in his very essence, our, the man is represented as the proton. The proton is a positive sign and a woman is represented as the electron, which is a negative sign, you feel me? You got the proton on one side, electron on one side, and both make uh, both together when they come together with the neutron. That's what creates atoms, and that's what made us ourselves. Feel me? But when it comes to uh, the protons itself, the proton has a solid base. You feel me? It's a stable. It's a stable. It's a. It's very nature. If you want to study man's nature, study the proton itself. Go into deep details about the proton itself and you get to see what the man's function is in this society. But of course we change roles because of society, the way things are. And the way we've made society, we, can, we don't even farm our own food no more. I can walk to Walmart right now and buy food for a week or a month without having to worry about where can I get food from because the food is available and everything else like that. So our very nature is being changed through this process itself, you feel me? But that's just a little topic on, hold on, let it pass. There's a lot of commotion. I'm about to get up and walk. And that's just on a on a surface level. I'm sorry. <laughs> she's still a little. She, she thought I was talking to her because she on the phone. But I'm talking to the phone, so it's like it seems like I'm talking to people when they passing by. So. That's why I like to keep it down. But that's just on the surface level of the man and the woman. Now, we can go into the pigmentation of the body and everything else like that. And why colors matters. And how that plays into a role and everything else like that. And we spoke about the woman's womb. And the woman's womb is a dark place where, in the dark place, this is where things are created. Things are always created in the dark. Light. It's supposed to reveal what has already been created, what is already in existence. You feel me? When you hold things in the dark, 
you being developed in the dark. Then from the dark, you come into light. Then light grows you. You feel me? You start out in the dark, right? Let it pass by. You start out in the dark. Then when you come into the light, it's the sunlight that helps us grow. It's photosynthesis. Even ourself, the very nature of ourself, the reason why we grow the way we grow is because like, we have a lot of sunlight and the sunlight is what helps us grow. The sunlight is what helps plant grow itself. They break it down into food and allow them to flourish. You feel me? So both things are working hand in hand. But if you was to take a look at the dark itself, the dark is the beginning of all things. Without that, the sun, it wouldn't, it, we, would, we wouldn't need the sun, you feel me? You feel me, you wouldn't, you like, it's like, it's all right, I'm already bullheaded, man. I already gave, <laughs> I gave you that trophy. Calm down, bro. Let me get out of here, man. You have to understand, in the soil, that's the dark itself, you feel me? Everything that's alive has a carbon. The carbon is as black, it's 10 times blacker than me. Maybe 100. And that's pretty black. When I say pretty black, I mean like pretty black. Like, you feel me? <laughs> Literally. Now, let's walk, you feel me? Because it's a lot of commotion. People always seem to want to attack you, then call the cops on you. Because you're not replying the way they want you to reply. Shit be crazy, man. Feel me? So let's get let's get into let's get into the top jet again. Remember, darkness. Darkness! is what grows is what makes you up it's like it is an environment darkness itself is an environment that creates things darkness is the creator of things light is what enhances or what grows it into its fullest potential you feel me remember in darkness you would need you would need lenses you would need sight you need perspective to see in the darkness. You feel me? You will need you will need an insight, literally an insight to see in the darkness. Even our thoughts is encased in darkness. Where is our thoughts coming from? It is encased in darkness itself. Bob Potter, Bob Potter said it best: a seed is very small, but yet can grow into something big like this tree. It doesn't matter how how much you cut that seed down, you can never find that tree in the seed itself. So where did the tree come from? Did the tree really come from the seed, or did it, or did the seed magically grew into that tree? Because every tree that you see somehow came from a seed, right? It grew from something little and grew into something else. Well, guess what? That tree has already it was always there already. The tree was already in existence. The seed had to be buried in the darkness to manifest something that was already here. It was already here already. The trees, it was already here. The mountains were already here. Everything was already here already. It was already in the darkness itself. It's something that you can perceive. There's things that we can't perceive with the naked eye, but yet they are there. If you put on a different lens, if you even if you put on a different perspective, you get to see these things. You feel me? Look at my cigar. <laughs> it's called vanilla. <laughs> you feel me? But you get to see these things when you put on a different perspective. You get to see these things in the darkness itself. So darkness itself is the is, is a place where everything already exists. You just that you just you as a person have to manifest this through thought itself you have to think it into existence even the car that they use to make noise now because they're so privileged if you, <laughs> you feel me like the shit that we have to think about trials and tribulations now they use it as a weapon a mockery they don't deserve it anyway 
You feel me? So in the darkness itself, even even the shadow, when 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 anything that is anything on earth will cast a shadow. It's only it's a cast a shadow. What does a cast do? They casting something that is a representation of them already. They playing. You see, they casting the shadow. Like you see the trees. Hold on, let me see. You see the shadow on the floor. They cast a shadow. It's they casting somewhere where they came from already. Just like a man who represents the power of a woman where he came from already. You feel me? So everything is everything in the darkness has already been formed. There's nothing new. Everything. I'm talking about everything. We just bring it into existence through our thought, manifestation. We get to discover it. That's what they call it, discover. We can never create nothing new. Everything is already has been created already. You feel me? This is when it comes into the colors and everything. Every color that you see, it's a spectrum. You feel me? It's just darkness express itself in different colors. There's colors out there that we haven't even discovered yet. This is not all the colors. You feel me? There's humans with different colors that we haven't even created yet. I don't even want to get into that, honestly. Because we can create whiter people. I'm talking about whiter than white. If you take a look into nature itself, you see the whitest animal. You see the darkest animal that look like me, right? Then you see other animals that are very brown that look like our current day um, white people. How come we don't see people that are very, very white, like the white lions and the white uh, zebras and the white giraffes? How come we don't see those kind of people on earth yet? That's because we haven't reached there yet, but we can create those kind of people. And it can be whiter than our albino kids. You feel me? I'm telling you, it's true. Think about it. When you, when you take a look at my complexion, take a look, take a look at other people who are, who are as dark as me. Hold on, let's see. Oh, shit. All right. Who as dark as me? You can find an animal in nature who's compared. We can look and take a look at wolf. Some wolves are, bl are black like me. If you take a look at a lion, the complexion of a lion, sometimes the lion complexion kind of goes off in other direction of, you know, it could be like, you know, a little lighter, brownish, caramel, you feel me? Sometimes a little lighter. Then you have other ones that are just pure white, you feel me? Those, those animals just came out pure white. Well, we can have humans that look that white. We can. You see, you see in saying movies, sometimes they try to make those kind of humans and make them, look, let's take a look at King of the Rings. When they have that white God and he has his whole hair is just white. You feel me? It's possible that we as humans can make those kind of, um, those, those kind of people. But that kind of person can only come from a black person that white you feel me because those white 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 animals they come from those black animals because it's a gene that is activated i guess we don't need to be activating those genes yet but that's another story but colors are also very very important in the creation of us and everything else like that so the evolution of men and women has just started you feel me now just because the end of us is near doesn't mean that the story is ending the end of us can be us as people but it's always going to be people that's recreated you feel me god always do away with people that don't go do that that don't follow the script and bring a new form of people in who knows if we were the first civilization of humans there could have been many forms of humans before us you feel me it could have been. You don't know that. But anyway, man, I drift off. I told you I was going to go into different topics. They come back to it and everything else like that. But let's get back to conclusion. In conclusion, women are the strongest and the smartest species out of the two. They are more important than what we give them credit for. You feel me? They have a lot more responsibilities than what we give them credit for. They are the house that we dwell in. And what is more important than a house? If you, if, you, if you don't have a house, then you really, it's like, you know, you need a house where you can feel secure. Your foundation has to be strong. Your house has to be made out of stones. You feel me? It can be woods because when the wind comes, it blows it away. So a woman is already made solid. I'm talking about a real woman. I'm not talking about some of these women that went off the real a little bit you feel me society do you know what i mean things happen people don't live up to their fullest potential and we got to fight through those adversities anyway 
I'm talking about a real woman at that. I'm describing a real woman and a real man, the ideal woman and the ideal man. Something like Jesus Christ and Mary kind of people. These things are very possible. It's just that we find it very hard to do these things because it's a place that has a lot of gift, but it's also hard to stay in. You feel me? To be like Christ himself, you're going to fight a lot of battles, but it also has a lot of gifts. It has its perks. You feel me? To be like Mary and to be, to, be, to be a righteous person, you have your benefits, but it's a place that God has made it hard for us to stay in. Because if you've made it easy, then any, any and everybody can just go in there. Any and everybody can just go in and become one. So you have to make it hard for them to stay. You feel me? It's a place where a lot of work needs to be done. And if you're not a working person and you're just lazy and everything else, guess what? You're not going to last in that place, just like any other business. You feel me? It is what it is, and that's how God made it, and I wouldn't want it any other way. Anyway, back to the story again. So a woman, remember, a woman is a representation of the earth and the universe that we live in. Her very womb is a reflection of how things are created. You feel me? She represents it. She, Her very essence is a representation of it all. You feel me? And a man is the soldier. He is the asteroid he is the representation of the strength of literally an asteroid you know the shooting of the sperm and everything else and finding his way through the hole and it's a miracle for a man to even have made it through the process to even be walking and living his purpose you feel me so that in itself is a miracle you understand so these are the two things so once you get to learn this um, this this is a series of all the things once you get to learn your purpose on earth itself, it'll be very hard for you to carry yourself in any form of matter or just carry yourself any how you want and, and just do things just to do things. You feel me? You you carry yourself a lot more respect. You, you know what I mean? You you wouldn't take you wouldn't take things for granted. You wouldn't be doing activities where you degrade yourself in those processes and everything else like that. It is hard. Trust me, it is hard. But at the same time, you'll be mindful so you wouldn't just do it without thinking about it because you hate somebody. You want to put up a lie or you want to do some form of weirdo activities, you know, play with buttholes and shit like that. You know how these nasty niggas are. Disgusting. <laughs> so weirdo activities or gang stalking or just lying on people. And just making stuff up. You wouldn't be a, you'd be unrighteous people. You feel me? You wouldn't do none of that stuff. You take care of yourself. Anyway, I gotta go. Seahawks. I gotta go, man. You feel me? So holla at y'all later. You know, you know what time it is, you feel me? It's the man with the brain cells. I use mine. What you using yours for? Hmm. Shout out to New York City. We in California time. East Coast, West Coast. I want all y'all to be. You know what I mean? Work together. Let's keep all. Let's not throw away anything. We keeping everything.